Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwa Billy Rose Amador, and together we are Native Voice TV. We are... The Indigenous people. Yes, we are. <laughs> well, today we are going to be honoring women. You know, women play such an important role in our culture. And uh, on this particular show, we're going to honor women, young women, very young women, and young women. <laughs> <How's that? laughs> and I have the pleasure of introducing to you, on my right, Kelly Gamboa. And Kelly is Apache and Cheyenne. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you. Welcome. We also have with us Julia Bustamante, who is Potawatomi, Michigan. Potawatomi. Say it for me. Potawatomi. Potawatomi. Oh, Thank you wow. for correcting me. That's not, that sounds nice, huh? It's beautiful. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> we have Sochi Trinidad, and Sochi is Yaki, Mexica, and Apache. Welcome, Sochi. Oh, wow, that's a nice combination. Yeah. <laughs> Warrior and I'd and like through. to welcome Rio Siwatjo. You're going to correct me, but Yao Kui Kat? Yeah, uh, Rio <laughs> Siwatjo Kui Kat. Kui Kat. Yes. And you are Mexica. Mexica. Welcome, all of you young ladies. We really so appreciate you being okay. here. And you all are very, very talented in many ways, and I know they all sing. Great. We're going to have yeah. a bunch of singers here. Yeah. And who are we going to have sing first? Well, I think we're going to start with Kelly. So, Kelly, will you <coughs> honor us with some music? Thank you. <coughs>
Thank now you. that was in Apache? No, that was actually a Lakota song that was taught to me by an elder probably 20 years ago mm. by an elder woman. And it's a song that the, the, the uh, Lakota women used to use as a lullaby. Oh. Yeah. Obviously, it's a love song, but uh -huh. it was sung to babies. It, this, that song is over 100 years old. Wow. So it's my pleasure to sing it always. Oh, thank you for sharing. Mm. That was beautiful. Nice. It's a nice thank song. You. Very nice. Thank you. And now we have Sochi and Julia. Sochi. Would you like to do a song for us? Yeah. All right. school do you go to? Sakamoto. Sakamoto. And what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. And Julia, how old are you? Um, ten. You're ten. And what school do you go to? Reskin Elementary. Ah, what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth grade. Well, that's great. Now, who taught you that song? Um, um, also local hat. Oh, you did a beautiful job. And Sochi, just for our audience, what does your name mean? Um, Precious Flower. Precious Flower. Okay. Now, Sochi, you dance too, don't you? Mm -hmm. What's the name of the dance group? Kapuli Tonaleke. Kapuli Tonaleke. Do you dance too, Julia? Yeah. You do too, with the same group? Uh huh. Well, that's great. How long have you guys been dancing? I've been um, now for a year. A year? Wow. I've been dancing since I was one. Since wow. you could stand, you were dancing, <laughs> right? You were born dancing. <laughs> <up. laughs> Good job. Well, that's great. Well, now we'd like to hear from Rio. Hmm. Okay. Put you on the spot there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The song uh, I wrote, it's about um, giving gratitude to um, our Earth Mother, Tonantzin, as we call her in Nahuatl, our Nahuatl language, and uh, the, the Troque Nahuatl that exists in, in movement uh, together, uh, close and together, okay? Plaza Camati, thank you. Plaza Camati, lo que na wake, y pal ne moani, Plaza de la tierra, la tierra tonanzi, y a ella respetamos 
porque somos de allí. Hay que darle las gracias por todo que nos da, que pronto volveremos un día al regresar. La soca mati, lo que en agua que y palme. Me chica que yo soy, porque ha de ser me chica, la historia se los doy, nuestros antes pasados honraban de los elementos, el fuego, agua, viento y la tierra, porque somos Espero ya volver, machipa tené mi mexica y que todo vaya bien. Al regresar al pueblo, que aquí es donde está, y así lo dispone el cuento, porque así ya se Nice voice. Beautiful Thank you. Yeah. Voice. All of you do. Yeah. Actually, today we are honoring women and all of you by playing this beautiful music. You're honoring women. Um, for our audience's sake, we uh, have with us Kelly Gamboa, who is Apache Cheyenne, and we have Julia Bustamante, Potawatami. No, Potawatami. I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> Potawatami. <laughs> but she corrects me because she says it beautifully. Yeah. Mexica. And Sochi Trinidad, you're Yaki, Mexica, and Apache, right? And we have Rio Siwat Yao Cuica. Wow. Right. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm getting <laughs> it. See, I'm getting one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and she is Mexica. Yeah. Kelly, can you tell me what the woman's role is in uh, your culture? Well, um, the Apache, traditional Apache society was a matriarchal society. Um, it's kind of a joke around the house that we only chose a husband by how good he could hunt, <laughs> you know, and that was pretty much it. The women sat on council, the women made decisions. Um, we, were, we had clan mothers and medicine women. And, uh, you know, over the course of history, the image of all Native people have changed due to, you know, the media, mm -hmm. yeah, colonization, you know, of course, and the 500 years of oppression that we've all suffered yeah. as indigenous peoples. But, you know, the women, the earth mothers, we've always endured. You know, we've always kept our, our children together. We've always been the core of our families, mm -hmm. you know. And I don't know if it matters if you're Apache or Mexica or Potawatomi or, you know, whatever indigenous nation you come from, you know, we are all earth mothers. You know, as we indigenous women, you know, we've been the backbone of our communities for generations now. And it's just now, these days, in, in this generation, that people are starting to recognize that. You know, and it makes me feel really good because I have daughters and I have granddaughters. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important for me to, to you know, allow the community and, and society as a whole to recognize, 
you know, the contributions of our, our, our women children. You know, um, it's a great contribution that we, we give to our community. Um, sometimes it's silently, sometimes it's with a song, sometimes it's with a march, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it's through our art, our history, yeah. but, but nonetheless, you know, um, <coughs> it's a huge contribution to our society and to our community, and it's something that I'm very proud of. Yeah. I think in, I think our nature, you know, just nature gives everyone a perfect example of how we should have a balance with everything. There's night, there's day, you know, there's right. day, there's cold, there's hot. And with people, we should have a balance with our women and our men should have a balance, you know, back and forth. Mm. But uh, unfortunately in this society, you know, you know, there isn't that balance because women were, were suppressed for a long time. And even right now, you know, there's mm -hmm. still a lot of suppression on, on other cultures as well. But now, I think it's time to come back and bring it back and bring that balance back. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Rio, can you tell us about the Mexica culture? Um, the woman's role in the Mexica culture was, um, of course, a matriarchal society. Um, you know, in this part of uh, this island of Anahuac and. Uh, um, the woman played the key role as she was the head of the family, you know, and when we say head of the family, it's not that she, you know, ruled over the man, but they worked together in an Ometeo sense, and Ometeo is the duality, that you cannot have one without the other, and so it works together, you know, uh, but the woman uh, was the head of the family, you know, and, um, you know, she's the one that mostly, um, said when um, when to go out and hunt, when to, you know, sing the songs, the ceremonies. In, in, in our culture, everything was uh, run together. Uh, there was Cuauhtémoc and there was Ixtaxochil, and she was his duality. Mm -hmm. So they ran uh, Mexico Tenochtitlan together when the invaders came, you know, the, Span the Spaniards arrived in Tenochtitlan. But in the Spaniard, um, in the Spanish conquest uh, part of it, uh, they, they did not value women, so the woman was totally left out of the historical sense of the arrival of the, of the invaders, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we never hear of the woman, but in our culture, the teachers have told us and, and uh, everywhere, this is, how, this is how it was. It was two, there was always in duality, they always. Even, yeah, they even had uh, women warriors, right? Yes, yeah. yes. So a lot of the women fought side by side with the men. Right? Correct, yeah. correct. But um, in, in our Mexica culture, the, the, the word of warrior does not mean uh, a warrior being able to go out there and, and fight. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the, the warrior that exists within ourselves and, yeah. and the knowing of ourselves. So a warrior, of course, yeah, there was women warriors. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions, especially in this country, of warriors, the image of a warrior, you know, this Correct. big battle. this big person, <laughs> strong person. You and know. it could be this small man or this small woman right. who just has this courageous heart. Right. Yeah, a, and a leader or something like and that. They and know, they yeah. know themselves. When you got to that Quetzalcoatl, your Texcalipoca of knowing, yeah. you knew yourself. You knew, you know, you were totally in balance. Yeah. And that's the way it was. Everything was in balance. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, we have four very talented women warriors here with <laughs> us, and it's a pleasure. So Thank you. Yeah. Kelly, can we ask you to do one more song for us? Sure. Another song in the drum. And then we'll probably go to announcements because I think we're getting close. Okay. Mm. This is a friendship song, by the way. Okay. Let's go dancing. 
of you for being here for the Honoring Women mm. Show. Thank you. And we're going to go right into announcements. Okay. We have the Native Tanner program where Cali works and Kwasiwa works. So that's at 490 North 1st Street in San Jose. And you can call them at 280-2280. They're located on 1st Street. Women Empowered to Move Ahead. The WEMA program at Center for Training and Careers. They have orientation every Monday at 10 a.m. So stop on by if you want to get into non-traditional occupations for women. And tune in to Indian Time Radio, KKUP 91.5, every Tuesday, 8 to 10 p.m. with Jack Hyatt and David Romero. Hartnell Community College Powwow presents Honoring Indigenous Intertribal Peoples, second annual powwow, April 22nd, 2006, from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's at Homestead Avenue. Salinas, California. The Indian Health Center has their spring gathering on Saturday, May 20th from 12 to 3 p.m. It's located at 1333 Meridian Avenue in San Jose. And come learn about their new diabetes, diabetes prevention program. Yeah. Learn how not to get diabetes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 21st Annual Red Road Powwow Memorial Day Weekend 2006, May 26th. 27th, 28th, DQ University, Davis, California. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. And the 20th Annual Honoring Our Elders Gathering, and you see all the t-shirts that everyone's oh, wearing yeah. here, and they're, they're advertising for the Powerwall, coming up in <laughs> June 16th, 17th, and 18th at Mount Madonna County Park. Look at that. And uh, hey, there we go. Oh, nice. Look at that advertisement. <laughs> so be sure and come on out there. <laughs> it wasn't held last year, but it's back and running. So please support that gathering. Camp out. Fourth Annual San Jose Powell Uniting Our Elders and Youth, August 27th, Evergreen Valley College, uh, 3095 Yuba Buena Road, San Jose. And Reed Ellips over there. That is a uh, weekly <laughs> bilingual newspaper. And there's Dennis Banks reading El Observador along with Monica and me. Ah. Catch up he on the news. The they, you know, they're advertising all the powwows as well, yeah. so pick that up and take a look at the powwows. Remember Leonard Peltier, 30 years of false imprisonment. Have you thought about Leonard today? And don't forget, they'll have booths at the powwow, yeah, so every stop powwow, by yeah. and give them a donation contribution. And Native Voice TV, we are on every Sunday at 6 p.m. That's us at the Cesar Chavez March. And uh, make sure you tune in and watch us every yeah. Sunday at 6. 6 and you can be a sponsor, too. Uh, you could support Native Voice TV. Contact us at Native Voice TV at AOL.com. 
or you can call us at 408-251-3165 and be a sponsor. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you, your comments, or questions, or anything like that. Feel free to email us and, and ask some questions or even just be our sponsor. And come on out to those powwows. They're all very good. You'll be supporting the local community. Come out, give some money to the Leonard Peltier Support Group and support all of the local indigenous community because they're working hard to bring on these activities to bring the community together. So thank you all for being thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. Good, good night. night. Thank you.